He did! <laughs> Look at Lost Space. Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching You Season 3, Episode 9. Now, in the last episode... Oh my god. Love and Joe, they decided to do the, the open relationship swing with Sherry and Carrie. That went terribly wrong because Love couldn't stand to see Joe and Sherry doing it and it, she had to call that, she had to say the safe word, you know, and then she ran out of the room, Joe went after her and then they got into a little argument and then Love kind of said too much in that situation. She was kind of like, I killed Natalie for you and then they definitely heard it. So then they tried to kill us. So we had to knock them out. We threw their asses in the cage. So now we got to deal with them. So just more people in the cage. And then uh, Matthew is also so on to Joe and Love. Like he hurts screaming at the house he saw that sherry and carrie were there and he asked joe like hey what's going on with that and joe was like oh nothing i don't know and so now that sherry and carrie are going to be missing i think Math matthew's gonna he's gonna know it was them he's gonna know that they, they had something to do with it he's, he was already on to them because of natalie and also he hacked into all the security cameras in Monterey linda he's gonna catch some shit of them doing something there's no way joe and love can dispose of these uh their bodies without getting on camera there is absolutely no way. And I can't wait to see how it happens. So I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes of you will also be available on Patreon and YouTube membership. So click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. How the fuck are these two getting out of here alive? They're not. And I am moving us back to a green flag. Just to stay a purple flag for a sec. I have some absolute fucking weirdos in the basement. <laughs> Yeah. In their own weirdo way, the Conrads bring out the best in each other. Yeah. Uh, love and me, we bring out something in each other. The demons in each other. Don't worry. After today, we're never doing this again. It's Joe driving Nyla's car. Okay, so he can't see the camera. So there's no cameras in the alleyway right there where he dragged the body out, I guess. Make it like this disaster of a night never happened. The stuff I should keep <laughs> could prove. Hmm. Ooh, ooh. The actual fuck. I mean, I'm not. So surprised. last night could have gone worse. Oh. Yeah. Why didn't they get? Why didn't he try and get to his gun then? Probably just didn't think about it. Probably forgot. Often this Chekhov's gun where you leave it, and then someone else uses it against you. Mm. Doesn't trust love. Honestly. Watch, I wouldn't be surprised if that was just like a prop gun for their sex. To spike up the intensity, you know? Like hold it, hold the gun to them while you're fucking, you know? Some weird shit like that. Hey Dante, what's up? Have you seen Marianne? Mm. I'm having trouble reaching her. No, she didn't come oh, into no. work. I'm worried. She got bad news about the custody hearing. Okay, there's this store that when she was feeling really bad, she used to sit outside and entertain going in. A liquor store? Joe, if she's there. I should have been with you, not in love's latest mess. I shouldn't have left you alone. You just look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. What's up with him? Plotting his way out of here. Dude, no, well, okay. Actually, what I said in the outro of last video too, is that, okay, Joe hit a key in here, but his was pretty well hidden. Love also hit a key in here, and it's in one, it's in one of those jars up there above Carrie. That's way more findable than Joe's key. So I think they're going to find the key. They wouldn't have just showed shown them putting a key in here for nothing if they weren't going to use it later. And they haven't used it yet, so. So, Matthew has video of Joe and me. Mm-hmm. I always thought your husband was an abusive dick. Well, oh, it's just them arguing, though. He's trying to figure out who killed Natalie. Does he think it was me? What? No. No. <laughs> yes. Wait, does Amy approve of you guys killing Natalie yet? He kicked me out. I'm not going back to my fucking mom's have a life and um i want you to come with me <laughs> bro you don't have any money i care about you like so <laughs> i love you oh my god dude this is the most one-sided like relationship ever not like relationship like situationship me in the eye and tell me that your husband <laughs> is not a violent man Hmm, I'm gonna go back to my dad's and get that footage and it's, and it's gonna be hard proof that Joe is a piece of shit and, and not admissible and I know it would get my dad in a lot of trouble but I'm saying threaten Joe with it. You can use it to make a clean break. Dude, she's, she's not, I know. she's not seriously considering that. Like running away with Theo. Fuck you, dad. 
But like still, do not run away with Theo. That is a terrible idea. And like Love's just as guilty as Joe for being like a piece of shit. So, and she knows that too. So I think she's just trying to go along with Theo or whatever, trying to stall with him. Sometimes I just like to sit and count the creases in the paper bag. You're embarrassed. You don't want me to see you like this. Did the judge rule against you? Are you surprised? Brian's taking her away from me. Don't say you can fight it. They're moving to New Jersey. There are times I hate myself, too. So much I can barely stand it. I killed someone. Mm, he's not saying that, no. When I was little... Oh, uh, that is, yeah. He was hurting my mom, so I shot him. So you aren't the only... He's actually telling her this to, like... Who's haunted by shame. Yeah, make her feel better. Now that I deserve all the bad things that happened to me. Oh, of course not. You, you're a kid. That's not. My mom felt different. Yeah, well, fuck her. You would never. Just want her back. You're gonna figure that out. I don't need to cause any more damage. I feel like Love's gonna catch him. Catch him right here, or maybe Matthew on the camera will catch him because they're out in public, and then Matthew's gonna show Love. I don't know. What am I supposed to do right now? What do you want? They're gonna fuck. I'll find a way to fix everything so that this is our every single day. Oh, it was love. Oh, yeah, we have a problem. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Hi, love. Hey. Oh, that worked. That was great timing. Yeah, I just thought I should make sure you check in with your adoring masses. Even under stress. And Stop you trying to be my friend. Yeah. We are friends. <laughs> no, but you're sucking up to her so she feels comfortable to let you out. We've seen this so many times. Then why are you talking to me? Oh, oh my life God. is at stake. God, I always knew you had secrets. Because Madre Linda is a nest full of narcissistic vipers. Because narcissism is control. Do you know how terrifying it is to not feel like you're in control? Especially with a kid. I mean, my influencer bullshit means I get to choose my flaws. True. Thea Angler tried to convince me to run away with him today. You're shitting me! <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna bond a bit. And I don't know, maybe Love won't be able to kill him and actually let him out. Who knows? I still say they die, but you never know. I don't think we can trust him if we let him out, so never mind. He also told me that Matthew has been stealing surveillance footage from all over town. Hope he can find out who killed Natalie. No, he's not gonna find anything. You should out him. What do you mean? On my blog. Yeah, uh, you should say that we found out that Matthew has been watching us. He's a total creep. Out him. It's just my opinion. It's a way to get him off your back. Sherry just gave Love that idea. Love's gonna be like, oh man, oh, okay. Yeah, I could probably let him out, but but like I said, I don't think we could trust Sherry and Carrie. If we do let him out, they 100% would tell the police, and so you can't not trust them. Call me back as soon as you get this. Oh, the comrades are probably dead. Maybe she burned <laughs> their house down and went and bashed Matthew over the head. God damn it. Love. Oh, 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 Mary. He said that one out loud. Joe. Yeah, Marion feels like shit. Thank you. You were right. I can't just give up on Juliet. I can't. Uh, I'm leaving Madre Linda. Mmm. Follow them to New Jersey, or if it means sleeping in my car, flipping burgers, whatever it takes. I respect it. I'm going to lose you. You know, Marion might have been pretty good for Joe, but. I don't regret that. Yeah, she needs to go. Good, but how can I stop this from being the end for us? Joe, are you gonna follow her to New Jersey or something? There's no way he does that. There's no way. It's Ryan. Yeah, he's killing Ryan for sure, so she doesn't have to move. And also, she does feel bad about fucking Joe while he's married and there. Even though, like, he told Mary, and, like, yeah, our relationship's rocky, it's not really the best. She still feels bad about it, I think. Has been hacking into everyone's security cameras for months. Yeah, apparently he thinks his wife's killer's still out there. Thank God for Sherry Conrad, who uh, found out and uh, mm. took it upon herself to blog about it about a half hour ago. She's not bringing up Theo. Said Sherry found out, not him. Oh, fuck. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. Shit. What is this? Anton Cackling. Just say who is Carrie's. That in Carrie's stuff. Carrie? Yeah. That psycho brought a gun into our house? Yeah, but she might, she's gonna be like, why the fuck do you have it on you? <laughs> Fucked up than I thought. Um, okay. Oh, okay. It could be perfect, though. We could make it look like a murder-suicide. Listen to her. Our marriage cannot end soon enough. <laughs> yeah, Joe's ready to get out of this marriage, dude. Got it. 
What'd you do? Coming to look for my charger. Flash drive. What? What do you? It's Joe. It's that file of Joe. I'm in love, screaming at each other, but... Call it a hunch, but I don't trust my neighbors. Joe seems okay, but the wife, love. Ah, oh, the Quinn, of course. Yes, love. Joe seems okay? She comes out. When she does, there's a second missing. She's wearing that coat and hat. Yeah, it's not her driving. They're gonna realize? Staged it at a rest stop, dropped off her car, and killed Gil Brigham, too, of all people in this town. Made it look like a suicide to frame him for murder. Well, I'm, I, I know what he's... Yes. <laughs> That is, is precisely what happened. These people are coming for you. It all needs to be gone. No, you were so close. You did the right thing. Four nine one. Mm. Damn, he's stressed. There's Sherry, shut the mm. fuck up. And Kim, letting you fix a marriage that never stood a chance in the first place. It's not what love wants to hear, Sherry. But Sherry was talking shit on Joe, and that's not what Love wants to hear. It's like Joe and Benji in the very beginning. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that my mom? What are you doing? What are you doing with that? New rules. One of you takes this, shoots the other. <laughs> what is this I fucking saw? Lives. Out. Insane. Well, if your marriage is so perfect, stay together, die together. Wow, that's fucked up, Love. Dude, love is fucking sadistic. I know from my recon that Ryan is the kind of nutjob who thinks taking the stairs will add years to his life. Oh, the irony. Wait, where's he, he going? Maybe Ryan knows Joe's following him. <gasps> oh shit, he did! Oh. Huh? Oh. Fuck. You know, I think I'll call the cops. That's great. I'll tell them about the drugs in your car. You tell that bitch. She's lucky I didn't kill you. Ah! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, he's dead. This bastard. Oh, he's not dead. Alive. God damn it. Oh. Just got him. You know, didn't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> That's the wrong person to say that to. <laughs> Robbery homicide may have to do. <gasps> oh, fuck. Wait. Always stay through Shavasana. That's so unlucky. I mean, it's lucky that she came out when she did, but it's unlucky she, she came out even at all. Damn, he got hella files. So everything Matthew deleted is Theo has now, so... Mm, oh, can you see Joe in the mirror? What are you doing back there? Boy, you better zoom in and like enhance the image or some shit like that. Some bullshit like that. Fuck. Oh, oh, from that angle, that's perfect. So now you know Joe drove the car away, yep. He's calling Love. He's gonna... He's gonna tell Love exactly what he just found out. And love's on Joe's side. Love's gonna kill him because he knows too much now. You no know, saying this is bulletproof. Do you really think she would have given us a gun if it wasn't? Bro, fuck it. Find out. Like, just try it. What? How many bullets do you have to spare? You know, if you got a full clip, I say just unload on that on the glass. Hopefully, enough bullets will break it. I don't know. Oh, Theo's gonna. Theo's gonna find him. Love? Yeah, he's looking for love. He's gonna go down in the basement. Fuck. Love. I don't know, genius. Maybe she's at her fucking house. Not her bakery. <laughs> this late at night. But they needed him to find Sherry and Carrie, so that's why he came here first. We need to start thinking about the kids. We really need to consider their future. Dude, it doesn't matter if one of you kill each other. Love's not letting the, set the other person out. Nah, what I'm doing is I'm taking the gun, and if Love or Joe ever try and come in that cage, I'm shooting them. You literally have a gun on you. You can do that. Joe and Love can never come in that cage as long as you have that gun. Or what you do is you kind of wait long enough until they forget about the gun that you have it in the first place. And then when their back is turned to the cage, when they're doing something down there or whatever, there's air holes. And I'm putting the gun directly on that air hole. 
and I'm waiting till they're perfectly lined up with their back turn, I'm shooting them. I don't know if that would work, but in this situation, I'm trying anything. Why would thinking about what's best for the kid's future be an argument for you to get out? Yeah, because she's the mother, so she could take care of them. So she wants Carrie to just kill himself. That's fucked up. Fuck this. Carrie, oh. what are you doing? Oh, yeah, see? Just try it. You heard that? Yep, he was about to leave, but you heard that. You shot. Wait, did it? <gasps> my ear. What? That ricocheting gar? God, get the hell away from me! No, hi! no, ah! she's gonna kill Gary. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God, this looks so bad. This is <laughs> our situation. Joe was the one that killed Natalie. Don't Joe was the one. Kid! He's in love with love, so he's not gonna he's not gonna believe whatever they say about love or whatever. No, he's gonna blame it on Joe because he already has that bias that Joe's a piece of shit already. So, I mean, yeah, he found the security camera security footage of Joe, so he thinks it's Joe. I don't feel bad about this. It isn't like what love does. She is crazy, impulsive. That's exactly what you just did. Has to be dealt with, and you don't do that by letting it live to take good. I mean, Ryan was he was pretty evil. Love killed for a different reason, I, I guess. Love is back. Oh no, Love's gonna have to kill Theo right here. Oh, all right, there's the key to let him out. Oh, go, oh, shit. Scare me. <laughs> Look at Love's face. Is that a key? I know that it's not true. What the comrade said that you did. Well, what are you gonna do? Stab your key in his fucking neck? But you killed Natalie. It was Joe. Mm. <laughs> to promise me. Okay. I promise. Whatever you want. Okay. Okay, you need to go. Now. Hey, 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 you should give me the key back. What, a, what about. Oh, no, uh, no, no, what no, are no, you no, 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 no. <laughs> Right. Theo, wait. Mm. <laughs> yep, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Had to be done. Oh, wait, did that just kill him? Oh, I think that... Oh, fuck. He's dead. Oh, that's in... Oh, okay. That's in the episode. Damn. All right, well, that was episode nine of season three. R.I.P. Theo. Damn, the horny bastard. Well, now it's just another body to cover up. Um, season finale next episode. A lot, I feel like a lot has to happen to wrap up the season. So here's my prediction. I'll say it again in the intro of next episode, but my prediction as of right now is I think Matthew finds actual proof. Well, actually, no, he can't destroy it at all. Okay, I feel like Matthew didn't actually destroy everything. Maybe he secretly kept a couple things so he some he's somehow gonna find out the truth he's gonna confront joe and love about it and then maybe he'll like find theo's dead body in the bakery too or something like that but i think sherry and carrie definitely die too and then matthew catches them somehow so then they have to dispose of him and then since uh joe killed ryan marion's no longer gonna have to move to new jersey so he could be with her but love's still in the picture like how he's gonna have to like divorce her or something but if he tries to divorce her she might try and kill him I, I could see something going down with that maybe maybe like matthew tells love hey joe's cheating on you with mary and like love knows there's another girl but she just doesn't know who it is as of right now and like i said like they were in front of the liquor store joe and marion and so maybe matthew finds the security camera of them outside and he's like oh Maybe something's going on here, so he tells Love about it. I don't know. Like, And then if Love tries to kill Marion out of jealousy, Joe's going to have to kill Love. I mean, he destroyed everything, so maybe not. But like I said, I feel like he secretly still kept some of it, so he could secretly keep doing it. I don't think he gave up just yet, or I'm completely wrong about everything, so I can't wait to find out. But anyways, I'm going to stop wasting time. Comment down below what you thought about this episode, down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.